Hello YouTubers, this is Johnny. Welcome back to my NASAC channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna continue my previous lab penetration testing. I built um, two weeks ago probably. If you watch it, my previous videos, you already know this topology. I'm using VMware Workstation and two VM Kali Linux and the Metasploitable. Previous video, I already presented how to do discovery, how to install those two VMs, build your own lab. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some basic file uploading vulnerabilities we can do exploitation. There's a lot of different types of file upload vulnerabilities in this lab. We're gonna use the Metasploitable DVWA to show you how to do basic exploitation. You can browse to Metasploitable IP and you will see this menu, click DVWA. If you don't know the username password, it shows here, the mean password. Before we start to exploit this file upload vulnerability, I want to make sure you are working on your lab environment. You have full permission to do this penetration testing lab. Once you logged in this damn vulnerable web application, first thing you want to change the settings. We are gonna exploit our PHP web server. So for that uh, file upload vulnerability exploitation, we need to set security level to low and make sure PHP IDS is disabled. There are three different levels security for DVWA. Low, medium, high. Low means no security method at all. Medium means there's bad security has been implemented. High usually means all security method has been implemented. You will need to go to upload. In here, you can choose file to upload to your DVWA server. I have two different file size. I try to use this larger file to down, uh, upload to it. It failed because the size problem, you probably need to control your file size less than 100 kilobytes. So once it's uploaded, you can see they gave you file pass for your file. You can try to access to it. As you can see, we can see the file properly that we just uploaded. If you want to see the real file pass in a meta exploitable VM, you can go to this folder. We are www.dvwa hackable uploads and you should be see the file which we just uploaded. Now we're gonna use Kali to generate a PHP payload, which is going to create a reverse connection back to Kali to let us gain control of this web server. The command is really, really simple. Going to a Kali server, Switch to the root count. Type this command, Vivli generate, and let the password. Vivli generate password, and then let the file pass and the file name. We're going to create a shell.php file on a Kali desktop. The file location is not right. 
let's do this we generated the uh, um, 751 byte size share the PHP file with password capital P password 1234 you should be able to see it on our desktop now we're gonna upload it to DVD WA website so we're gonna copy it here we're gonna go back to our web browser and we're gonna choose file choose the share.php file we're gonna do upload it was successfully uploaded we're gonna try to access to it it shows blank doesn't give us any information there which is good since it's not successful or not accessible then you should get a not found or something like that to show us there's no this file file has been deleted once we confirmed we have a file we're gonna go back to our Kali command line we cannot going to connect to it using Vivoli and using a password we generated before basically we can uh, using Vivoli connect to that PHP file and uh, the password is capital P password 1234 Now we are in. So basically, we are at 192.168.2.90, and here is a folder. We can run some command there. You can see this shared PHP file, and also the previous JPG file we uploaded. We can run some commands, change the folder. We can check our ID and then get some feedback. So we can even remove the previous file we uploaded. So basically, we can game the control for this web server. Our second tool. For this lab is MSF Venom. This is very powerful tool. It can not only generate PHP shell, also can generate Windows, Linux shell, PASP, all kind of shells to be used in the penetration testing task. Not like uh, Vivoli only can do PHP. This can be used in many different types of system, OS, and programs. Type MF Savina, you can see all those options you can use. To make it simple, we can just um, Using one typical payload, PHP related bind PHP, we can list options to take a look what kind of option we can put in there, local port and the remote host. So now we can constructing our command to generate this PHP payload. So we need the L port. We're gonna do port 4444 by default. That's a listening port. And we're gonna put the output into PHP bind to PHP file. We're gonna copy PHP file to home. Kali desktop. We can open it to take a look. We have to remove these first two characters.
since we have pillow, we can upload to it. It has been successfully uploaded. Go to command line again. So we got a connection refused since we haven't started the show yet. We connected to actually. So to confirm that, type the command. You can move around. You can run. Basically, we got a shell and we have full control to let the machine. This is our second tool we can use this file upload vulnerability to gain the control to the web server. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do.